Don't forget to use TCG Center 5 code on ccgcastle.com and get 5% discount on your purchase. Check video description or visit CCG Castle for more. So welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. Um, today we'll be looking at the Season to Garbador expanded deck um, that I made. And this one is a little bit different. Uh, it have a lot of interactive and tech cards. As you can see, um, like um, crushing and enhanced hammers, it also have uh, hypnotoxic lasers, it also have those red cards, um, and uh, that uh, ace pack rock guard, and also, um, yeah, the bursting balloon, um, the latest card from that uh, breakpoint uh, set, which says. Uh, or from the breakthrough, and I'm not uh, exactly sure, but it doesn't even matter. It says if the Pokemon discard is attached to your active Pokemon and it's damaged by your opponent's attacks, uh, put six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So, in my opinion, a pretty strong card. <clears throat> you can imagine a matchup against a Night March, um, for example, if even Jol Joltik or um, or even Pupkabu, and they both be knocked out uh, by Bursting Balloon attacks. So basically, <clears throat> the main uh, focus of this deck is to Quake and Punch your opponent, prevent him from attacking you, and pretty much um, do a lot of other stuff uh, by blocking item cards and abilities with the Garbador, and of course uh, any other uh, thing that uh, your opponent can even uh, imagine to do. So to help get Breaking Punch turn 1 basically I have 4 Shamans uh, with a setup. Pretty much when you play it from your hand you can draw cards until you have 6 in your hand. I line 2 Trubbish and 2 Garbodors with the Garbotoxin. I uh, stay with the 70 HP uh, Trubbish just those dunks and also pound with the double color synergy just in case you need to attack. Yeah, also Garbador with the Garbotoxin that uh, blocks your opponent uh, abilities if you have any um, tool attached on it. Also uh, four uh, copies of Seismic 2DX for the main attack. And then I have four Crushing Hammers. Uh, Flipper Quenu has this card and energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon, that's also good. Uh, as much as you can, discard um, energy cards from your opponent and preventing him from attacking you, you are um, pretty much safe to get close uh, with 3. Uh, also one enhanced hammer, oh, but uh, I totally forgot that I didn't take a Shadow Triad in this deck, I'm sorry for that. I will just cut down one crushing hammer and add one Shadow Triad because it's just an important card in this deck. Um, pretty much you want to have additional hypnotoxic laser because we don't have those muscle bands and we will only hit 30 damage per turn. And then I have four copies of hypnotoxic laser. Um, pretty much if your opponent's uh, Pokemon is poison, uh, your opponent's active Pokemon is poison and you can flip a coin you've had. Uh, your opponent's active Pokemon is also asleep. Uh, then I have two red cards. Your opponent shuffle his or her hand uh, and draw four cards. That's also good if you can turn one, uh, do red card, and for example, get his and your opponents reveal his hand and shuffle all, all item cards that you find there. For example, if you have three item cards, you can left him just down to one card. Um, three super scoop ups, which will help helps you to remove um, damaged season toad and also shames from the play when you need to set up. Uh, three trainers mails, a uh, lot of three times cards because. A lot of different type of cards and uh, I just need to have as much space as I need. Uh, four copies of Ultra Ball, of course. Uh, three versus Seeker that I find. I'm still thinking about taking fourth, but uh, I also have a lot of different supporter cards <coughs> in this deck. I also have one copies of AZ, um, just in case I need to uh, put uh, remove something from the play, like Shaman. But I'm still thinking about maybe adding, uh, instead of AC Ford uh, versus Seeker, uh, also one Getsis, as I mentioned before, two Lysanders, of course, just in case one is in the prize cards, um, one N, uh, one Center Lady, so you can heal your Seismitoad for 60 and remove all special condition from it, uh, four Johnny Purse, of course, one Shadow Drive to put back those uh, lasers, 
uh, one copy of Team Flare Grunt, which will allow you to discard any energy attached to your opponent's active Pokémon, two Vertex City Gyms, um, Bursting Balloon three, uh, three times, um, pretty much strong card, uh, it's dual card, and uh, if this card is attached to one of your Pokémon, um, discard it at the end of your opponent's turn, and it says if the Pokémon this card is attached to uh, is your active Pokémon and it's damaged by your opponent's attack, even if that Pokemon is knocked out, put 6 damage counters on the attacking uh, Pokemon. Uh, also, Floatstone times 3 for those um, Garbodors. Uh, 1 Rock Guard, uh, the same thing as the Bursting Balloon, but this just stays in the play until it's removed. And of course, 4 copies of uh, Double Colorous Energy. So, let's move into the testing point and let's see how the deck will actually work so you can uh, see it in the real gameplay. So I'm really excited to show you how the deck will work. I'm 100% sure it's a good and strong deck for those who likes to play with uh, with the Seize method. Here is one more um, tech list that you can play it. And I think that that bursting balloon is pretty much a good and strong card um, in my opinion. Okay, so I won the coin flip, but I still don't know if I should go first. Um, let's go second, because I have a lot of different cards that can be used against my opponent, even if he go turn 1. Uh, but uh, all I really want to have is uh, Season to turn 1, so I can start to quick and punch him. Uh, pretty much uh, as fast as I, as I can. So there is still no um, basic Pokemon. And right now I start with the Trubbish. Okay, it's not the end of the world. I got that uh, Floatstone and I also have that Double Colorus and the Ultra Ball with the laser so I can easily uh, get turn 1 Seism Toad. And of course, in order to do that, I have two Shamans which can be used also for additional uh, draw support. Okay, so still waiting for my opponent to um, act in his <sighs> basic Pokemon if he have it. If he don't have it, we will start. And uh, yes, I start against Night March. Um, not sure uh, which type of deck Night March this is. Is it with the Militix? But even if it it's with the Militic, I can easily uh, stop Militic's ability with my Trubbish. Only if my opponent play that Hex Maniac, he can prevent uh, ability and get, for example, double color energy that he needs uh, from his disc pile. And as you can see, uh, right now, two Battle Compressors, which means that uh, if my opponent will be able to get um, eight Pokemons with the Night March turn one. Uh, for now, he have five of them, and there is Roller Skates. So, um, if he'll be able to get uh, like eight Night Marchers and the Muscle Band, uh, he'll be able to one shot my Season to DX. Uh, without that, uh, he will not be able to do that. And it looks like this deck uh, don't have the Shaman because. I actually see those Aura Skates, so that's a cheaper version of the Acceleration in uh, that uh, Dex. And there's also Psychic Energy, not sure why, and the Sycamore, so I can uh, finally see what else he have in his deck. So he have for now 3, 6, 7, 8 Night Marchers, which means it will be enough to knock me out, um, but there is also West Queen. With the West Queen, he can 100% uh, uh, knock out my Seismitoad <coughs> and grab two prize cards. <clears throat> but that's not a huge deal um, because I have Bursting Balloon, and with the Bursting Balloon, I can uh, hit him for 60. And yeah, I can easily knock him out by just 30 damages. It would be just enough because um, it's 90 HP Pokemon, uh, West Queen, and uh, well, he decided to discard those unknowns. I'm not sure why. I, I would definitely, personally, wouldn't do that. But anyway, um, let's go with the Seism Toad. So, turn 1 will be definitely Quaking Punch. 
but I still need to see um, if I can get maybe something stronger like uh, yeah, but I can't maybe some, something stronger like uh, Lysander on that combi and uh, try to knock out that combi but I get tails on the coin flip which means that uh, all I can actually do for now is just a retreat and I might find myself in a trouble but at least uh, I prevent him by playing item cards and let's see what I can get in prize oh shame, really nice so Conobies came into play which means double Colrus energy and West Between will be able to knock out my Seismitoad but he cannot play item cards so he can only play supporter and uh, Stadium and those energy cards. Definitely a lot of Pokemons in the discard pile, so double color synergy will do the job. But uh, if I can find uh, in my deck Seismitoad and the double color synergy, I will also be able to do a good job by knocking out that West between. Oh. Really interesting. I'm not sure why he have all of these different energy types. Maybe he play Mew EX. Oh yes, there is Mew EX right now. I know why he do that. Okay, so he can copy Greninjas. He can copy. Um, let's see what else he play. Gengar EX. He can copy. Um, Manectric. He can also copy um, Attack of the. Um, Evil Tall Baby, so a lot of different energy types will do a lot of different options. But hey, he misplayed a turn to attack, which means that I can do um, a lot of good stuff. For example, uh, Lysandering uh, out that Wespy Queen and also trying to damage it with uh, that Hidden Toxic Laser. And I can also do my Sheen for the setup. Uh, let's see if I can grab out my Garbador EX. Oh yes, I can. In order to do that, I need to pay... Um, oh, okay, the two shamans are in the price. So three was priced. I'm really surprised. But anyway, Quaking Punch for the 60, so even if he tried to attack my Seismitoad, he will be knocked out, that's for sure, but even if he retreat, um, he cannot use Versatile because I have Garbador with the Corbotoxin in place, so... Oh, okay, definitely he's knocked out even if he knocked me out. Uh, right now he replaced that stating with the Dimension Wally, so if he have double Colrus, he can take price and uh, he can use price exchange. Oh yes, so he will definitely do that. Really nice, so price exchange, he lost West Between, I lost my Seismitoad. Oh, really nice, I got another Seismitoad in front. And uh, let me count those Wespy Queens, so he already have like, I think, two, yes, two Wespy Queens in the discard pile, uh, which is good. And Mubil came in the front, I will go with the Corridor in front. Oh, Professor's Johnny Per. Mm, definitely, I need to play it instead of that AZ. And I couldn't find... I couldn't find my uh, double colors, which means that I will um, misplay this turn. But at least I can red card him down to four. And pass for now. Okay, so third Wespy Queen came into play. He can play item cards. Uh, there is metal energy that's interesting. But his ability is not work, so all he can do is pay energy in order to retreat. Um, but that's 
not what you want to do. Oh, Hex Maniac. So right now he shut down all abilities, including himself. Not sure why he do that, but at least it's my turn. I got Crushing Hammer Heads, I got Double Colors Energy. I also got my uh, Johnny Purse, so I can draw a fresh hand of 7. Oh, really nice. I got Hypnotox Laser, which will do 30 additional damage, and I can do also Bursting Balloon, in case... In which case? No, I really don't need it. I don't need it to do it. I can just... Quaking Punch. Oh, I missed... I missed Blade to play Trainer's Mail, so maybe I could find... Yeah, maybe I could find that second Verbing City GM. And there is Sycamore. So he desperately needs retreat and attack, but he cannot play item cards, so he will not be able to retreat without paying a additional uh, one um, energy cost. But I have good plan. Um, I will go versus Seeker for that Joltik. Uh, knock, knock him out. And uh, I will also attach that uh, balloon onto my Season Toad. So, in case he came with the West Queen, he actually will be able to knock me out, but he will take 6 damage counters, which is neat. Okay, so taking one more prize, I'm down to three. So three more prize to go. Real nice additional trainer's mail. So I can grab my hypnotoxic laser even if I don't have the double color synergy uh, to attack. And I also have trainer's mail, but how many versus seekers do I have left? Oh, none of them. So all of them are discarded. And there's double color synergy. So that will be the knockout. That's for sure. And that bursting balloon will definitely do a good amount of damage. 60 damage, which, which will be enough to knock him out back if I'll be able to find a right card. Okay, Trainer's Mail for the Rock Guard. And the Red Card. I think I will stick with the Red Card, definitely. He has pretty much too much cards in his hand. And I can take a gamble. I need to count how many double color synergy he have discarded only one I have crushing hammer can I get heads oh that that was crucial heads in my opinion and right now I can grab I can grab that shadow trot but I could also maybe grab that guesses but I think it's better to try to slip him oh, with the tails yes yeah, so since two of my shames uh, was prized. All I can do is just pass my turn and uh, wait that uh, Wespy Queen uh, burn out from the poison. Oh, there's the Lysander, so if he have double colorus, it's pretty much GG, and there's the double colorus. So yeah, it's GG. Well, it was hard not to play against uh, the deck. Actually managed to get three prize cards against it, but at least it's still nice deck to play around with it. It's a good idea to play with it. So in my opinion, uh, it's interesting to play. But uh, lack of that uh, damage on that quaking punch is uh, 
pretty much uh, bad. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for more future videos. So um, don't forget to like or dislike this video if you don't like it or if you like it. Leave comments below uh, about uh, what you think. And uh, till the next time, have a nice day and uh, goodbye.